flow line map. So a really useful way in geography to show how to show the movement of something around the world. For example, people, goods, services. And what you do is you basically change the thickness of the line to show the amount of that flow. So whichever the bigger the line, the higher the amount. Now what we want to do first of all is get some data to show you how to do this. Now here's some really good data here we've got that shows the in the UK 2015 nationalities, the most common nationality. So you've got Poland, India, Pakistan, Pakistan, and Germany. Now first things first, we need to group this data. But underneath here, I've grouped it looking at the largest number, which is eight, about 831. So I thought, well, if I round up to 900, this is a bit difficult to try and do. Let's make up the nice big even number. There's a lot of potential, so 1,000 candidates. And I thought going up to 200 would be quite good, so I've got category size 200 or less. Now I'm going to give it a name. It's a weighting. That weighting is the thickness. So let's just start nice and easy. One, two, three, four, five. Now we're doing the simple VLOOKUP. You can now categorize this group with that, and that would be very useful at the moment. So we'll do a VLOOKUP of this. Third column, I'll be look up. Okay, so we've now got the weighting. Now I want to insert a map, a chlorophyll map, so to speak. And that again makes the whole process of the flow line look a little bit neater. So we can insert, one of the latest map maps will work, you can do this very easily. Maps, build map, let's change it, this style looks quite nice. Change some colors. Let's try and keep it uh, so let's just go blue. Let's do that, make it nice and big. There we go. Now, the best thing to do is taste this as a picture. The reason you want to paste this picture is that we can edit it to actually zoom into the area that we want to focus on. Crop this. Again, you can border, just make it a bit neater. Let's go in line. There we go. Now we're ready to do the flow lines. The first one we need to do is uh, Poland, and that's going to be width 5. So we need to insert a illustration shape. What we want to do is use the curved line. So I have curve. Let's just go all the way up here because it's quite large. Point it towards the UK. So we'll click finish. And then you see we have a nice line. Now we said the width needs to be five, so to do that very easily. Weight. Make it bigger to make the options a bit easier to see. More lines. Once we can do that, we can just put it in five. Ah, oh, there we go. And the best thing about this is once you've done that, you can edit the points just to make it a bit. Just to make the curve a bit more defined. A little bit tricky. Just take a little bit of playing around. And because we started there, we ended here, we need to change the end arrow type to an arrow, and just make sure they're consistent. And there we go. More than needs to match up the same color, so shape outline. Go through until we select the right blue.
Those are tricky. Maybe we need to do more color outlines. See how beautiful you got. And you keep on going. So, likewise, you insert shapes, curve, and this time you'll be able to put the star. And again, Pakistan, wait, it's uh, three. Ends. And again, the shape outline needs to match the color. So let's assume that does. And you keep on going then that here, the flow lines don't look very big. So meanwhile it's alter the scale. This is all the lines making sure it all looks neat. Don't forget the lines can cross and everything else. You need to put the key in. So I would type out the key first and then insert and use the shape, the arrow shape. You've got one here and it needs to match the colour. Oh, I would change the thickness. That's five. Again, so that's four, so on and so on and so on until you've drawn the line. And that's how you do it. And that's how you draw flow lines on Microsoft Word. You can do it on other programs as well, and sometimes that's easier. Um, but it's entirely up to you. Research some examples first to see you get some ideas, some way, different ways of showing this type of information. But essentially, that's how you can quickly draw a flow line on Microsoft Word.